everyone welcome back to my youtube channel today hope everybody's having a good day thanks for stopping by to make a batch of soap with me we are going to do apple mango tango i've already got my oils in the bowl and i'm adding in my additives which are heavy cream powder coital oatmeal kaolin clay and goat's milk powder I got my fragrance. It's Crafter's Choice. I got it from Wholesale Supplies Plus. In case anyone is wondering, it smells fantastic. The fragrance description for Apple Mango Tango is this. It says, this magnificent island aroma bursts with scents of fresh mango and apple slices. Sweet undertones of soft floral complete this tropical paradise. So, it really does smell good too. I, I, when I go in my soap room, that's one of the ones that I smell the most. So we're going to go ahead and get our lice solution going here. I need to get my sodium lactate in, my lime water. Everything is at room temp, soaping at room temp. These are things that I have um, master batched, so everything's just been kind of hanging out for a couple weeks, including my lice solution. So I got that in there. I'm going to give that a stir and get that incorporated. All right, and we'll go ahead and get that in. So that's just sodium hydroxide, the sodium lactate, and then distilled water. get that mixed up and emulsified. I don't really try to mix um, to trace at all. I just try to get it emulsified because I usually stick blend once I get my fragrance in or I try to. I feel like my colors pop a little more if I stick blend them. So I'm going to be doing a, a red, a green, and a yellow color in this one. And then the base will be white. I wanted to use mostly white in this soap. <clears throat> okay, and there's my titanium dioxide I'll put into the main portion. And then I'll be using the Yellow Vibrance Mica from Nurture Soap for the yellow portion, which that color usually stays really bright for me. And you'll see when the cut, maybe it will show up on camera differently, but it's it wasn't as bright as I have seen it before. But I used the Firecracker Mica from Nurture Soap for the red portion. It's a really pretty color. And then for the green, I use the jade green. It's kind of a sparkly green. It's like really pretty, like a true green kind of color. I really like that one. And there's the Apple Mango Tango. I think that's a dupe. I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up and see if it is or not. Um, I've watched a lot of soapers use it, and it seems like uh, it performs well, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it in my batch. I don't think I'll have any problems with acceleration or anything, so...
Now the pour on this one, I think I decided to do a drop swirl. I just wanted to get a whole bunch of the white in there and then try to drop the colors in like from up high. So we'll see how that works out. <clears throat> I think the top of this one, I'll just put some of each colored soap on and then swirl it a little bit. I'm pretty sure I hanger swirled this one if I remember correctly. It's been a couple weeks, actually, no, it's been yep, 10 days since I made this one, so I think I used a hanger though. Hopefully that's a better angle of the mold with the pour. I'm still going to move the camera to the other side when I film the next ones. I'm not sure if I have time to film today or if I'll film tomorrow, but either way I'll have three videos up here. Well, this will be the third one. And then I will have more coming shortly because I still have a lot of soap to make. We are starting with that green, which that green does morph a little bit and it will morph back into the pretty color. It just morphs when you mix it for some reason. I guess a lot of micas do that. Yeah, it definitely thickened up. I. I thought I had a little more time of thin soap before it kind of got a little bit thicker, but no. <laughs> I love that color in mica though. That is gorgeous. I have, I don't use that one near enough. I really do like that one. going in with the hanger so kind of a gentle swirl I think I was timid oh well maybe not so gentle okay well I, I was a little bit timid on this one because of the other um, Viva La Juicy there and I, I was <laughs> I was scared I was gonna mess this one up I actually I swirled a little more than I thought too it's funny when you watch your videos back and then you narrate what you don't realize that you do. <laughs> but this should be the last one that I have to narrate. I should be able to talk during my next ones. I've just been filming when it's been loud, so I'll try to film when it's more quiet so I can talk. Oh, I just heard my husband pull in the driveway. It's 
So I'm just, like I said in the beginning, just putting on some different colors. I think I'll just give it a little chopstick swirly on the top. This soap did really well too. It did not ash. Um, it gelled well. It yeah, it did really well. No issues at all. So I really like the recipe. I'm not sure if the palm is part of the problem or the solution to the ashing. I used to use lard all the time, and then I decided to use palm this time. So I. Didn't, I haven't been using any lard in these recipes, so. But I have not been getting soda ash, so. I wonder if that had something to do with it. I did add castor oil, too, as well. Could be a lot of factors, I guess. Gonna go ahead and glitter this one. Since this video, I've filled up my pump bottle. Um, I got a two ounce jar of um, glitter. There's the top of that one. All right, we'll be back to cut this up here in just a moment. All right, we are back the next day to cut the soap. Pretty. I like the red wispies down at the bottom. I think that's pretty. And then there's the top. That's a really pretty bar. You know, I got predominantly what I wanted. I wanted the white base with the red and the green in there and then some of the yellow, so. I think it turned out pretty nice. It's pretty close to what I was looking for. I was surprised that the, all the red was on that side. I thought I poured it pretty much all over, but it all kind of ended up on that one side mostly. But I think it's kind of pretty because the green was more on the other side. So that's a nice one. So I cut these soaps at one inch and I think they usually end up weighing somewhere around five ounces or a little bit over, which is the perfect size. I This is a really nice mold because the bars just fit in your hand really nice, like a bar of soap instead of some of the soaps that I've done before with the really wide bar and the piped high tops. Those are really cute and I love those myself, but as far as utility. I like the shape of these bars. Some of the other ones, like the high tops, I cut in half sometimes. Oh, that one's pretty. <laughs>
and then uh, what I was going to say was I cut them into one inch bars so I get about 15 bars per batch of soap which is very nice too I need to get out my poppy seeds and do an exfoliating soap soon. I think that's the last bar. I think this one's a little bit too short. Some of those sometimes I'll cut into samples if they're too little. Oh, hope I got one more bar. I couldn't remember. And a tiny sample. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Have a good one.